All right, so what's up, Simps? The Worst Duelist here. I'm coming at you guys with more of a discussion video. There's a specific card that I would like to talk about, and, you know, judging from the title and the thumbnail, it's The Diviner of the Heralds. So really quick, um, I wanted to give a quick shout-out to Cardboard Gaming. So, uh, of course, these are proxies. He prints um, all kinds of proxies and oracas and tokens and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and it's actually, like, a real Yu-Gi-Oh card, and he prints, like, directly on top of it. So they are a bit thicker, but, you know, he does really anything you want uh, i got these from him he has super rares and prismatic secrets uh, but he's still tweaking the prismatic secrets a little bit he says that they come out just a little bit thicker than the supers they're better for field centers and tokens and stuff but yeah i will leave a link to his instagram in the description and then you can probably pm him from there and you know he does all of his work out of an etsy shop he'll give you the details from there but yeah big shout out to him he's definitely the guy these came out really good um, so yeah that's that so, uh, really quickly about the release of the card. So, you know, I had the proxies made because God knows when we're going to actually get this card. Unfortunately, it comes out of a uh, manga, and I don't honestly remember the last time that we had a manga promo, you know, or really a, a manga release in the West. Maybe we had one for Brains, but as far as I know, I think Arc 5 was like the last time we had manga uh, released in uh, the West, but I could be wrong on that one, so I'm sure someone could correct me. Regardless, um... Basically, there's just no conceivable or foreseeable release date uh, for this card because, again, the, the manga is called OCG Structures, so it seems pretty unlikely that we would get it in the TCG unless they do a name change or something or whatever. You know, that being said, you should probably check out OCG Structures. It is really cool. It's probably um, where you might have seen this image floating around on Zodiac Duelist or something. Uh, yeah, it's definitely sweet. So, yeah, that's that. Now, as for the card itself, uh, in case you're unaware of what the card does, we'll go ahead and put the effect on the screen and we'll read it off real quick. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can send one fairy monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. And if you do, increase this card's level by the level of the monster sent until the end of the turn. If this card is tributed, you can special summon one level 2 or lower fairy monster from your hand or deck, except Diviner of the Heralds. You can only use each effect once per turn. So, you know, naturally, this card, the fact that it's a tuner and it has the ability to send Herald... It's just great because it can search you either piece, but, you know, it's, to me, really, the card is like um, a power crep manju, and it's more of like an in-archetype, for at least heralds, that is, um, kind of normal summon. So, you know, naturally sending the Herald of the Arclight can search you either a ritual spell or a ritual monster, but it also makes it level six. So if you're playing any sort of uh, Herald of Perfection type deck, then you can, you know, easily get out your Herald of Perfection the old fashioned way. Now, if you're playing this card in Drytrons, it gets even sillier. So the card feels very much like a Power Crypt Manju. You can easily swap your uh, one Manju out in uh, your Drytron list for this card. Um, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't work with Drytron in the regard that. Drytrons have to tribute Drytrons or Rituals, so that is kind of unfortunate. But what is insane about the card is you can, you know, of course, like I said, you can send Herald, make it level 6. You can summon Benten, get this card's effect, and you can summon a level 2 or lower Fairy from your deck, which I'll get to that in a moment. And then you can simply tribute the Benten off your board to get another search to keep your engine kind of going. Now, um, as to what you can summon off of this card, you have Trickstar Nightshade in the card pool of cards that you can summon off of D Diviner's second effect. So shout out to Mike because he, you know, showed me that this is could be part of a combo with this card. Um, because I remember I knew about this card's existence and he brought it up to me and I didn't know that this card existed because I honestly skipped that whole format. And I'm not even sure if this card was ever played um, in Trick Stars, but that's beyond the point. But yeah, big shout out to Mike. So after this card's tributed, you can go get your Nightshade you could turn that into a Trickstar Bloom, and then of course the Nightshade will come back because it was it was used as a uh, link material for a Trickstar monster. So it's a free uh, link too. It could be a Union Carrier because they're both lights. You know, at least that's kind of huge in um, Drytron. So, but also really just kind of in general, it's just kind of nuts. Uh, just playing Union Carrier Dawn Knight combo really in any sort of like light based ritual strategy. So um, that's definitely something that the card has going for it as well. But you know, the fact it's a tuner, you can just simply you can hard make this thing if you want like if you do something along the lines of like you know dump herald make it a six whatever um do a ritual play go into halk get the other one out of your deck you know whatever make really any synchro play for, for that matter 
you know, the fact that this card does become a level six is kind of nuts because you can do um, easy sync or eight sync or nines for like a VFD play or something. It's just, you know, the card's just nuts. Or you can swap it in for a level two one out of your deck with Alk. So, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, the, the card just does so much on its own. Just its, its stat line, the way it was designed, is just kind of nuts. And it's definitely something that a ritual deck would need going into 2021. And again, like the card just doesn't have it doesn't have to be tributed on the board. It just has to be tributed in general. So, the normal summon one, you could you could keep it. You could tribute one out of your hand. You can go get the nightshade. You can get a sinker seven right there. You can link summon first. You know, get this back. Do like um, a shooting riser play. Do a power tool play. So I mean, like you know, there's just a ton. There's a ton that can go into the card. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Again, you can do a Hulk play. You get the, the third one out of your deck, and you have the level six. You have level two. So there's like a lot. You can do there. You can do like a marcher. Get this back. Get like more, more tuner access. More link material. But you know, specifically for me, the the card is insane because well, you know, I'm an avid Nephthys player, and yeah. So this is basically just like a Nephthys video in disguise. Sue me. But um, I'm actually really not going to talk about it a whole ton. But you know, the fact that it's level two is insane with these guys. But uh, what really gets me is, you know, resolving conductor is five link material like that's huge that's like absolutely crazy it's five link material that's nuts but you know the problem that lied with um trying to do that is this card just loses to every hand trap which is you know a very glaring issue of course i mean it's just it's what kind of keeps this stuff in like the realm of casual but this card on a normal summon makes this makes this a two card combo is kind of what I'm getting at here. Because you could normal this and get the spell, and then you distribute this off, and you get your conductor combo, and then you get Nightshade. So, of course, that is two link material within itself. So, basically, resolving this two card combo will generate you seven link material, which is insane. And even if you miss out on the Diviner's effect, the important part is chain blocking conductor, at least for Nephthys. But that's just insane to me. And, um, you know, again, there's just probably plenty more applications. There's, like, far more stuff that you could do with this, I'm sure. I just have yet to, um, you know, delve into that or discover that because, you know, my head is stuck in Nephthys right now. But, yeah, that's really all I got. It was really just kind of me flexing the cool proxies. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this card. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys possibly have brewed up with this, if you've even looked at the card at all, if you even knew about the card. Uh, let me know what you think. But yeah, that's all I got, and I'll see you next time. Sips.